Robin of Van Allen, known professionally as the Lady of Rage, is an American rapper, singer, and actress, best known for her collaborations with several other Death Row record artists, including Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg on their seminal albums, The Chronic and Doggy Style. The Lady of Rage has been described as one of the most skillful female MCs with a mastery of flow and hardcore lyrics. Lady of Rage was born in Farmville, Virginia in February 1968. The Lady with Rage has an estimated net worth of $3 million. The Lady with Rage Biography In the summer of 1988, Lady of Rage met Shakim, now known as Black Russian of the original Outlaw Brothers, a rap group from Queens, New York. Once Shakim convinced the Lady of Rage that he could get her a record deal, he brought her into his group. The member of the Outlaw Brothers made Rage a member of their group, and they eventually signed a production deal with the L.A. Posse, went on to produce several big hits for LL Cool J. At the time, the LA Posse had several artists within their group, including MC Wynn, The Real Rock San. The LA Posse also had several relationships with different labels. Rage, along with all the artists at the camp, worked diligently writing and recording out of Chung King Studios in Lower Manhattan. In 1991, the Lady of Rage met with Chubb Rock, providing vocals for the track Bring Him Home Safe on his album The One, which she recorded under the name of Rock and Robin. Dr. Dre discovered the Lady of Rage after hearing the vocals she recorded for the L.A. Posse's album, Become In All Colors. She later appeared on several tracks on Dr. Dre's 1992 album, The Chronic, and on Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style in 1993. July 29, 1994, the Lady of Rage released the hit singles Aeropuffs from the soundtrack Above the Rim, which reached number 5 on the Billboard Hot Rap Singles Chart. She also made an appearance on the Snoop Dogg's Pound album, Dog Food, on the track Do What I Feel. Though she had made more than a dozen appearances on soundtracks as well as albums from her Death Row Records cohorts, the Lady of Rage didn't release her debut album until 1997. Her debut solo album, Necessary Roughness, was released June 1997 and peaked at number 7 on the Billboard R&B album chart and number 32 on the Billboard 200 charts. Her solo album was originally called Eargasm, but it was continually pushed back. The album was meant to have been the next album on Death Row Records after The Chronic and then after Doggy Style, before finally being released in 1997. After the release of her album and a guest appearance with Gangster, alongside Corrupt, You Know My Steez, Three Men and a Lady remix in 1996, Rage left Death Row Records and the music industry to focus on acting, appearing in an episode of Keenan and Kel. The Lady of Rage went on to be featured in the sitcom Steve Harvey Show when the WB is Coretta Cox, a recurring role that she played from 97 to 2000. She also had a role in Next Friday as Baby D, the sister of Day Day's ex-girlfriend from 2000 to 2002. She made three appearances on songs by Snoop Dogg, set it off from his album The Last Meal, a solo track unforgettable on Snoop Dogg Presents, Doggy Style, All Stars Volume 1, and Batman and Robin from his album Paid the Cost to Be the Boss. In 2007, Rage signed to Shanty Broadus' label, Boss Lady Entertainment, and recorded a mixtape called From VA to LA. She also made appearances on Big Snoop Dogg Presents, Welcome to the Church, the album. And Callie is active in 2006 in the song Keep It Gangsta. In 2008, Rage was a part of the FEM, Females Earning Money movement, along with fellow rappers Dabs of the band Lady Luck and Amel. In 2008, she performed with MC Like, Yo-Yo, and salt and pepper at the BET Hip Hop Awards. In the summer of 2010, she joined Snoop Dogg during this headlining event at the Rock the Bells Festival concert series, along with Warren G, RBX, and The Dog Pound for a performance of the Doggy Style album in its entirety. In 2011, Rage was part of the group Endmates, alongside Daz Dillinger, Corrupt, and RBX. They released the track Tragical. And Rage signed on to play herself in Dog Pound for Life, a biographical film focusing on the rise of the 1990s rap group, The Dog Pound, and was featured in an Instagram post with Daz Dillinger. Rage also made an appearance on MC8's 2017 album, Which Way is West, and the track Heart Cold. Thanks for watching, and kindly don't forget to subscribe. You may also like and share this video with family and friends.